there are some fun tweaks we can make to the phasers and photon torpedoes. First off, let's add some line numbers to make things easier. In the Arduino GUI, click on File, then Preferences, then check the box next to Display Line Numbers and click OK. Let's play around with some of the phaser settings. Currently, the phasers are set to fire for 3000 milliseconds, which are 3 second bursts. This can be modified in line 56. By changing the phaser burst variable to a zero and uploading the sketch to the Arduino, we notice that the phaser stops firing as soon as we release the button. The cool thing is that, even while we press and hold the phaser button, we can still fire the photon torpedoes whenever we want. Phases are disabled, however, during the warp fade effect. But if we prefer the phaser to fire for short periods, we can change the phaser burst variable to any number of milliseconds we're comfortable with. 3000 milliseconds seems to be a good number. Something else we can change is the rate at which the phaser flashes. This setting can be found in line 15 of the Starship 03 sketch. By changing the middle number to a zero, we can remove the flashing completely and just have a steadily glowing phaser. An effect like this may be desirable if we are thinking of using a real laser in our Starship instead of an LED to simulate phaser fire. While the laser does look cool with a steady beam, it looks equally cool with a flickering phaser effect. We can choose whichever one we like best. The last modification we can make with the phasers is to disable them when the photon torpedoes start firing. This is done by removing the two forward slashes in line 194 and 195 of the sketch and adding two forward slashes before the commands in lines 252 and 254 of the sketch. Now, even if the phasers have not completed their firing cycle, they will be disabled as soon as the photon torpedoes are activated. This doesn't look as cool, but it's probably more practical when power needs to be conserved during an extended battle. Let's have some fun with the photon torpedoes. The photon torpedo effect consists of a quick, low intensity flash, followed by a longer, high intensity flash. We can change the intensities of both of these flashes by changing the values in lines 48 and 49. If we change the low flash variable to the maximum value of 255, the photon torpedoes fire with two high intensity bursts, one short one and one long one. This could be useful if we're displaying our starship in a bright area where the first flash might not be very visible. We can also lower the intensity of the photon torpedo effect by changing low flash to 17 and high flash to 127, which would mean the torpedoes fire with half the brightness. This is useful in instances where the LED or SMD we were planning to use for the photon torpedoes is a lot brighter than we'd anticipated. Let's change these values back to their normal values and see how we can alter the length of the photon torpedo burst. By changing the flash length value in line 50, we can lengthen or shorten the time it takes to complete the double flash effect. Let's change the value to 2000 and upload the sketch. 
Now, when we press the photon torpedo button, we get a much slower firing sequence. If we want things to be faster, we can change the flash length value to 250. Now the torpedoes fire as short bursts in quick succession. Of course, these changes in value are extreme, but they demonstrate how you can play around with the numbers and tweak them until you get just that perfect effect you're looking for. Finally, we can change the way the torpedoes work. If we prefer both torpedoes to fire simultaneously, we can change the flash together value in line 51 from a 0 to a 1. After we upload the sketch, both torpedoes launch simultaneously, rather than two separate bursts in quick succession. To change back, all we need to do is change the flash together value back to a 0. There you have it, the Starship Zero 03 sketch. As always, it's entirely copyright free and in the public domain. So feel free to take it, modify it, have fun and make it your own. So long and thanks for watching.